Hello, I'm Level Meister. Welcome back to Final Fantasy III. Last time we explored the town of Gish. Gishel. Gishal? Gishal? Gishel? Anyway. Two hundred forty-two guild, two hundred twenty-five experience points. I think gains job increase, and you gains a level. As I was saying, it was the home of chocobos and the greens they eat. Primary or named after the gate. Either way. Two hundred forty-six skill, 20, 225 experience points. Riley gets job increase. Chance gains a level. No and job increase. Okay. All right, so now we'll sail back this way, continuing to follow the inner coastline here. Well, down the sea serpent goes. Bought it one of them earlier. 406 skill, 175 experience points. Riley gains a level. And that's it. All right, so that's back where we went, where we wanted to be earlier. But if we keep sailing, we find ourselves over here. And inside is the Dwarven Hollows. Lolly ho, we're a bit little, but we're in big trouble. Uh, okay. Lolly ho, humans, welcome to the Dwarven Hollows. Is that it? Alright, talk to ourselves as there's a mog. We put a ward around the shrine. No one can get close. We'll defend the last horn. Gets the rogue. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. The two horns made of ice. They're our treasure, our precious. One of them was plundered and pilfered, stolen by a scoundrel. Must be found. And if we head inside here, we've got ourselves some gear. We could equip the team, which we probably... Gonna scroll down here real quick. Okay. So I will go ahead and buy one ice armor, three ice helms. I won't buy any ice shields because I eh, won't necessarily need them. And we will equip the guys. There we go, ice helm. Can't use any of those, but you can certainly use the ice helm. Okay, so we're geared up for the moment. Okay, talk about the horn still. If we come in here, talk with this guy. Wow, it's got some good items here. But I think we want the tear fring for now. At least one of them, anyway. So we can give it to Riley. Oh. That will increase his attack power. And we'll take it. Inside here, it'll be 80 Gilonite Tereths. We will go and do so, just make sure we're healed up. Slept like a log. If we talk to the mage here, let me give you a brief description of jobs. Warriors are weapon experts. Their advanced ability allows them to deal even more damage than normal, but they also get hit a lot harder. Monks are very resilient melee fighters. The retaliate ability allows them to counterattack while in defensive. Red mages can use both white and black magic, but they cannot use higher level spells from either school. Thieves are very fast and agile, and they can swing their weapons lightning fast. They also have the ability to pick locked doors. Their steel ability allows them to take items from enemies. Also, everyone will take less damage while escaping if they use flee. Yeah. And then I think this is the item shop over. 
He is indeed. I will gladly pick up some high potions. We'll pick up nine to start with. Just so we have those items. Sort everything, and then we'll go back out the door. Warriors of Light, did you ever know that out to the sea, far, far to the east, is a peninsula with a village called Gishel? We were just there. And actually, I should probably pick up, just in case, I should probably pick up more uh, Maiden's Kisses, just in case we ever get turned into toads. Or if we need to turn into toads. We might. There was a shiny tower to the north. After the earthquake, it was gone. But there's a big hole where it was. Okay. There's a big old pond here, but nothing I can do right now to it. For it, with it. Pop it. Twist it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's just that one to go. Stop! The dwarven treasure is ahead. All non-dwarves are forbidden, forbidden to enter. Well, I just entered. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a wellspring, though. I wonder if it's a healing spring. Or if it's a status spring. Put a ward around the shine. Talk to this one here. That rascal Guts goes made off with a horn of ice. He made his getaway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim. But you're humans. Humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. An invisible wall blocks your path. All right. So now we can head down the stairs here. And actually, I still very feel very nervous about not having enough... Maiden's kisses, so I'm gonna buy another. Can I do 16? I can. I'll buy 16 of them. And we'll head down here. Because now. In we go! Oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? Yep, you guessed it. Toad. It's making its recurrence, or occurrence, but we're gonna end here. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're gonna dive into the lake and see what's at the bottom. And hopefully, get back that horn of ice. But until next time, I'm the Bowmeister, and as always, I have been obediently yours.